Ah, hello there, everybody. Hope we're all doing well. Welcome back. As per usual, more esports talk. A great talking point out there in debate when it comes time for team houses, content houses, and facilities. I would say all three different categories. As per usual, very curious what you guys think about this. NRG, the latest esports organization to launch a content house or content uh, team house. It's really hard to classify these things. That being with their NRG, Fortnite Boys, Clicks, Ronaldo, Unknown, Edgy, and apparently going to be doing a month by month, potentially different houses, different locations a reality series and show which in itself is a great talking point I want to relate that to other things out there we have seen in the esports scene when it comes for content houses team houses facilities you think about hundred thieves for Fortnite, hundred thieves for their main members or at least their main content members they have their own house uh, g2 rocket league Dallas Empire for call of duty that's a facility uh, g2 rocket league is a team house you can understand now why these categories do get a bit confusing there are so many down the line that I really could not list all of them uh, 1% uh, HQ for the Fortnite uh, boys. They were formerly of Luminosity Gaming. They, that was a, a content house as well. You even think about one of the best trios to do it of all time. That's probably going to be TSM, Myth, Hamlins, and Daquan. I think that was one of the best iterations of content houses we have seen since the old Optic boys did it. You guys understand why sometimes I go crazy uh, with these topics. So curious what you guys think. You know, give me a two cents. Who do you think has done a team or content house the best ever all time in esports? I would have to go Optic, maybe TSM. I think 100 Thieves does a really good job with their main content team too. You guys leave a comment down below. This one though, brought to us by Grady Reigns, NRG content lead and a content creator himself. And of course, with these Fortnite names, they are some of the biggest names in all of Fortnite. And for a content house, I think it's very curious. I think it will work and I love their model month by month, potentially different houses, uh, different locations, and this reality show and series to really pump out content. To me, it makes a lot of sense. Speaking, ironically, it was actually the latest Nade Shot and Courage show, uh, Courage and Nade Shot show with Hector Rodriguez. He gave a comment on content houses and the difference between the old optic houses and potentially what NRG might be bringing to the table. Work well or as efficiently if everyone it doesn't have the same platform that they're creating for in the same video format that they need to create every single day i just think it's tough i think it's a tough interaction i, I think it, it they definitely work and i'm hoping that it works now that we have the the energy fortnite house um you know with with uh clay edgy uh one man and uh you know ronaldo and whoever i'm missing i'm sorry uh but i, I think i think uh it it, it lends itself to have that that sort of excitement that they once were, especially if they're young kids, the way that these dudes are, right? These these guys are you know coming into their own, and now they're they're gonna get a chance to just have fun the entire time and create content, which was one of the things that worked for us, right? Like everybody was young, this was like their first experience, therefore everybody went into it saying, all right, let's make the best of this thing. And if you look at your lifestyle now, and if you look at the way that you know you were sitting on a, on lawn chairs and 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 uh, and sleeping on an air mattress like it was it was definitely way way different right so i don't know i think i think uh i think that the the content house strategy still works uh it just depends on the period of life the people inhabiting are you know it's a it, if you're if you have a wife and kid then definitely no if you guys remember, if you're diehard, you know, you, you watch every piece of content, which is very few people because I just like talking and we make a lot of videos over here, but I do appreciate you guys. Six months ago, we talked about Hector Rodriguez, who spoke specifically about team houses, right? Competitive lineups, that being four to five guys for their Call of Duty team, uh, now being 5v5, of course, that being the Huntsman. He actually interviewed Arsides and both of them agreed that team houses are a bit difficult, right? You got guys who compete alongside each other on the same team. If you can never get away from each other inside a team house, that can be a bit murky water. Content houses are different because they don't compete with each other or on the same team with each other and different from team facilities like the Dallas Empire and a few other COD organizations or esports orgs like Complexity are doing because that's also during the day the team goes to a facility and then they go back to their own apartments. So I love these kind of talking points and yes it does bring up a great point as well. Can the NRG Fortnite content house really compete with the old optic house? I think Hector made a great point. These guys are young, right? They're cut throat wanting to make it work as best as possible just like the old optic guys were they put all, all in the house and you want to make content you want to survive you want to grow together and blow up together so can these nrg fortnite guys do it as well as the old optic guys 
that that's not a fair comparison, right? It, I mean, it's it's you you really can't compare two different eras, I, I would say, of content. But I think they can do a great job because for Fortnite content creation and impressions and views and followings, these these kids they are some of the biggest names. I'm super excited how NRG will pull this off, and I really love the experience that a guy like Hex brings from the old Optic days to maybe run a new content house for NRG Fortnite instead. And next time, what do you guys think about this? I understand sometimes I get a bit derailed with topics like this because it brings up so much history of what we have talked about for team houses, content houses, and now esports facilities being like the new move for a lot of orgs out there. So it brings a lot, a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of talking points. And to next time, what do you guys think about this? You know what to do, all right? I, I do it, do it with me. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Until then, take care of yourselves, okay? Um, it's uh. Whew. It's been a it's been a stressful last couple of days. Just want to thank you guys. Um, take care of yourselves. I'll see you back here sometime soon.